Yes. 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 You want to? No. I have. Uh, can I ask? Yes. Yo, yo. Yes, ma'am. Hi. A very warm welcome to this class to Bombay. Uh, my question is for our uh, Chancellor and Ashwarya. Uh, uh, sir, like everybody spoke about uh, that, you know, how you enlightened us with the knowledge about Indian heritage. As the, it's a beautiful piece of literature. What is your favorite part from this literature? I love the unrequited love between Nandini and Arthi Kargal. And I think it's, it's a very, very different kind of love. I have romanced a lot of people in a lot of movies. It's always been one-sided love or you love both. It's mutual. But this is the first time that there's one person who loves him so much he can kill him. And there's this other person who loves her so much he can die for her. And what happens there, I know. Does he die because of her? I don't know. Or does he live? You don't know. That is a very beautiful thought. And in the book, too, it almost has a, it's not finished. It's left there for us to conjure up some image in our minds. And Manisa wrapped it up so beautifully, and I just love it. And working with her was phenomenal. Like on celluloid, Dan Manisa. He is king of uh, bringing romance into the most tense moments in, in a manner which is just so unique to his, uh, his storytelling his uh, way of bringing magic that pain becomes beautiful. You see love, you see intensity and the uh, ultimate romance in the moments that <coughs> when written on paper does not read like that, but is definitely experienced like that. And uh, we're so fortunate to have, the, no, to, to have that creative opportunity to, uh, to live those moments. Thank you, it's truly magical. Kalkiza's writing, yeah. that this lady is just so, um, the way she's been written in as a character, as a personality, um, it's just amazing that all the women also in the audience, apart from, I mean, I mean the readers to begin with, uh, absolutely love this character. There's a strange relatability, strange, because uh, I think deep down, all of us know that uh, we are grey. It's not black and white. Everybody is grey. Everybody uh, is layered as a personality. And, um, and that's just th the deepest truth. So, in life, actually, um, there are no labels. There is no compartmentalization about uh, being a protagonist or an antagonist, or are you, are you positive or are you negative. These are all labels that I think we as people go about um, attaching to personalities. We all have all the aspects and all the dimensions and we're reactionary. So a lot of what we do and who we are and how we, it's, it's, it's so often reactionary. It's very and most often emotional. Uh, the triggers are, are experiences and very deeply emotional experiences. And that's what so often can be the driving force for choices that you make in your life. And I think that's, that's the core that's, that makes her so relatable. And um, um, uh, when Mani Garu uh, narrated the film to me and said, Nandiniya, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, really? I, I love it. He's a man.